Okay, I'm Emma. I'm the Assistant Outdoor Centre Manager on Bouncy Island. And my job really is a bit of a mix. I never really know how to describe it actually because there isn't a typical day. So yeah, I mean, I started as a volunteer. I've always really been passionate about education. So that was my road in. Um, so I volunteered as a marine warden locally and then got my first paid position in conservation with National Trust. I started on this very, um, very location actually as a, a learning officer split with uh, a warden role, as a, a seasonal role. And then I found myself back here as assistant manager three, three or so years later. Who you want to hold? You always need your glove on. Um, and if you go at a diagonal like that, yeah. do you want to hold the saw with me to start with? Yeah. That's it. And you want to use all of the blades. So we start by pulling it back. And you look after um, a campsite which is very popular, which is open from April um, till October. We're just going into the busy time now, so we manage, help manage, manage the campsite, help um, well deliver learning programmes and um, events on the island. I think what inspires me is seeing kids come to life and be excited about nature and the environment and passing on that massive childlike wonder that I still have inside of me, nurturing that as much as possible because we need them to care. Sometimes we encourage their grown-ups to, to care too and, and bring them to these places. We really care about educating the future generation and making them really care about the places that we all love. So I would like you to sort of use your imagination a bit and imagine that you're going to be sighting your den um, and in, in sighting it somewhere you want to be able to see quickly if there's going to be somebody that's going to come to invade. You want to think about um, having a fire. So we, although we're not going to light your fires, I'd like you to prepare as if you were going to be having one. Okay, so longer term, we really want to bring forest school to the island. So that would be something, I mean, it's an island. It's, it's a dream place to do it. And so, yeah, longer term, that's something that I personally would really like to be able to bring. More kind of events that are hands-on and get people to experience what you know, what it's like to, to work here and get them to be part of the, the you know, very much a part of the place um, and to get them to keep, keep wanting to visit really. Mm. This would give you a good yeah. angle yeah. if you were to come off this one and this is already done for you. Yeah. Okay. So I would say maybe try and work with what you've got. Or oh, look at these guys, you could help these guys and try and create a bit of a mega den there. It's the same probably for anybody that works here to anybody that visits here. It's just like you get on that boat in the morning. I mean, the boat ride to work is great. Who wouldn't want to get the boat to work? Um, and you step on the island and breathe and let the day sort of pan out as it's going to pan out. Um, and I think actually coming back now after having a bit of a break from Brownsea, the nice thing is that there is like, a, it sounds a bit cliche, but there is a Brassy family. Uh, I've just had one of the rangers, you know, with his daughter on a ranger day with me today. So yeah, there's a lot more sort of working together to get things done. And that's really, really, really nice. But there isn't a typical day here, which I also like. I uh, have to be really quite responsive to, to the needs of, of um, you know, the island. Sometimes the weather can, play a big part in what we actually do here. Um, we've tried to process as much as we can and the good thing about the island is that we reuse as much as we can as possible. So this road is ended, and remember I said that it gets really, really, can get really, really big yeah. and it used to cover the whole island. Well, we've still got stores of wood and things all over the island and fences and things that are made out of the, the trunks. The real Find something that you're particularly passionate about and sort up on it loads because it's good <laughs> When you have lots of different experts and different things, you can really share knowledge. And I would definitely say volunteering is key to get some experience. Um, from my point of view, I volunteered quite a lot before I, I got a paid um, role. Um, and I don't think there really is any substitute for getting as much experience as you can. And also I'd say that it doesn't matter what age you are. If you're trying to make a transition into conservation, having worked, I don't know, in a bag for years, there's no barrier to you from you know getting involved. 